This is Jed with Mobile Home Partners here. We are currently located in Talmo, Georgia. A small city. Located, uh, we're about 15, 20 miles from Gainesville, I believe. And, uh, beautiful park here. We're currently looking at this double wide. We're going to be investing in, but let me try to go around the property, show you. So I would say this is about a mid-80s, 84, 85 maybe. Pretty good condition on the exterior for, for the most part here. Skirting there could be dressed up a little bit, put that center back in. The roof didn't look too bad. I can't get on it at this time, but window here, definitely replace it. It was broken at one time. It's not the way to fix it. So we would get rid of that board, fix it. This side is the rougher of the exterior here. If you, you can see up top there let me see if i can zoom in so as you can see that is water damage right here where it's been pouring in after over a while and obviously not dressed up so if you can see all that would need to be replaced that top section right there replaced re-insulated re-skirted put the vinyl back on it and get it back up to code definitely bring this property back up but not the worst I've seen for sure. I mean, it can definitely be fixed. Again, the skirting down here. I mean, it just needs to be dressed up a little better than it is. Some pieces are missing. That whole center trim, replace it. Good pressure wash will make this thing beautiful again. Okay. Deck here coming in. Pretty solid deck for the most part. This here, obviously, we would replace some of this wood here. Maybe just small little sections where it's needed. Most of this is pretty sturdy. Making my way on into the house here. All right, so we are inside now. Beautiful layout. Very spacious. Um, I wouldn't change too much in the layout. Wouldn't take it into that depth in a rehab. But definitely clean this chimney up here. These walls, I personally prefer the wood color. So I wouldn't paint those. This section here, definitely fix it back up trim. Top area, I would repaint, clean it up. Ceiling, not too bad for the most part. Uh, may may not paint the the ceiling in here okay gonna make my way into the first bedroom here small bedroom which typical in these mobile homes especially this year so again this you know sections like this definitely clean the, these walls out all this stuff on here you know a lot of this stuff actually wipes off like crayola right off this these walls but windows get rid of all that this this side definitely we would paint we would patch some of this looks like it's not too weak but i mean this wall here definitely get it painted out the ceiling fan maybe change it out it's a little low on these homes are older so you know i guess people were smaller but i would just get rid of that fan just go ahead and put a light fixture atop and avoid trying to get decapitated on that fan so carpet gone now any mobile home I rehab, you know, carpet only goes in bedrooms the way I like to do it. Bedrooms get carpet, kitchens, you know, they'll get vinyl. So this here would be replaced pretty nasty anyway. So this floor does not look bad. There's no tears that I can see. A good cleanup would we'll definitely bring it back up. All right, I'm making my way into the second bedroom now. So this is the one with the broken window. So as you can see, so they, they definitely like to put stickers on the on the wall. So definitely need to clean that up. And all these walls have already been painted anyway. So yes, we would paint all these. Uh, go with a more neutral color, something maybe light gray, vanilla. You know, something commercial light, but. You know, good, good colors for these properties. That, I guess the shelf at one time, it's got no place there. So we would get rid of that. The closet here could use a couple more shelves. And then we put a, maybe an accordion door, put something 
keep it keep as most spacious as we can same thing with the fan it's a little taller here that one's actually a little smaller doesn't come down as far so maybe this one we could just put the bottom of the light fixture above obviously and let it let it ride so this here it doesn't look like there's any damage maybe towards the corner as you can see that hole and it's from water of course water that has trickled in here over a period of time you know it just starts damaging that you know around these sides is where you definitely want to check the floor make sure there's no too too soft a spot so but fix this little section here put a new glass window get rid of that board and good to go okay floor feels pretty pretty good structure there's no real soft areas at this time same thing with this wall here coming into this little hallway so you know go ahead and keep, give it a fresh paint bring it back up every room gets painted the same color in, in every home that's kind of what we do uh, i don't have any light so i'm hoping you can see of course there's no light in here but this is the spare bath bathroom second one full bathroom vanity not in bad shape you got the got the mirror up here okay like i said i apologize there's no light and doesn't work on my camera once I'm rolling, so but it's not in bad shape. So, toilet doesn't look in bad condition. At minimum, we would change the seat out. Go ahead and put a new seat in there. Bring it up, clean it up. Vinyl again. It's a couple little tears. We might can be able to fix that. If not, yes, we go ahead and change that one section out. Coming into the kitchen here, vinyl again looks pretty good. These two sides here. Looks pretty good. I, I like it. No tears. No, you know, very little wear on it. So, same thing. Walls here. New fire detector we would put in. This trim here would definitely clean up. I don't know if you can see it sagging a little bit. Go ahead and bring it back up to it. Maybe paint it white. Not sure. This 20,000, 15,000 BTU AC unit. Definitely massive for sure. It, it cools down most of the house, I'm sure. But. The way it's dressed up here with those strips of foam, and it's not going to work. I mean, you, you can do better than this on that. Um, this time of year, we would just remove it for now. Go ahead and make sure the walls, there's no issues, leaks inside out or even in between. But when we do, you know, there's, there's better ways to dress it up. So we would do better on that. Cabinets. I don't know that I would paint them on here. I think a good clean might get it. Definitely the bottom needs to, needs to be dressed up. This would, would need some some love for sure i mean we definitely need to clean this up backsplash on the side as well i mean just good paint fix it better you know structured i'll take it back definitely would paint these cabinets if we keep them you know the more i'm looking at them the more i see they're, they're pretty beat up so okay same thing down here i mean just you know and, and this home's been sitting vacant for you know a good year so you got to think on that too but you know that this is a good cleanup, a good rehab. This be a beautiful property again, no doubt. So, as you can see, spacious it is. I mean, beautiful. I like it. We would definitely keep that fan. <laughs> That's a, that, you know, it's a lot taller ceiling there, right, right mid section. So, clean it up, dress it up a little better. Not sure if you can see that wire. Let me see, right there. So, you know, it's little things like that that you can fix that can really bring this property back up. So. This section here right in front of the kitchen at this point now is more of the laundry laundry area. It's a little storage unit right here. You can probably separate these shelves a little better and clean it up. Definitely get some space. Maybe put a door on it. So laundry section in this area. This carpet would definitely be, be swapped out. Okay. Let's see if I can get out. So this is to the back. And I don't think I mentioned when I first started doing the video and walking around, but this deck, this deck looks good. We would put some pickets on the side, obviously bring it up the code and then put some steps going down. You definitely need those. This is a safe hazard at this time. So we'd fix that up. Massive unit right there hanging off like it should not be. Okay. So plumbing, we definitely get this in here checked out. See what all is going on back here. Fix this up. Dress it back up nice and neatly. This is a very good spacious area for your washer, dryer. Get yourself a shelf up here we can fix. Okay. Electric. A lot of people get scared with something like this. This is definitely something, a job for, and let me make this clear. This is a job for a contractor, a licensed contractor. 
Uh, nothing against handyman. Some, I mean, handyman are very handy, but if you're not licensed as an electrician, stay away from this. I mean, this is an issue big time. This here, as I look at it from a little that I know, this is not that major. This is something that can be fixed. The wires don't look stripped. They don't look like anything's been pulled. Just a bunch of breakers, you know, missing and needs to be brought, up. brought back up. There's a, the top to it. So, but again, guys, anybody doing rehabs on mobile homes or houses for that matter, when it comes to electrical and you start seeing any issues, spend the extra money. It is well worth it. You need a licensed contractor taking care of this for you. Okay. Sorry for that lecture. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, though you need it. So, okay. All right. This is what I would imagine is the main bedroom. So, here we are. Every wall has already been painted at one point. Definitely we would paint it. This punched out maybe at one time. Not, not the way to fix it. You can definitely dress that up better. And you have quite a bit of them in here. You got that wall over there. That section right there. Fix that. I mean, all these little dents in the walls here in the ceiling. Let me back up. Okay, as you can see, it was obviously leaking at some point. This is the way to fix it, not the way to fix it. You can definitely dress this up a little better. These from here to here is one sheet. I mean, instead of trying to put a bunch of little sections off, I mean, this could have been simple as removing this strip in the middle. Replacing this whole sheet. Yes, it might have spent a little bit more, but I mean it's well worth it And you could have had that a lot better than seeing a board stamp up on top of the ceiling. So something to keep in mind Ceiling uh, again a little low, but I think this one's okay It's a little shorter and as I walked under it is you know, it doesn't seem as close to me So you might be okay now if you're tall too tall eh, again, you got a problem carpet And let me walk back over here in this section. I felt soft here we go. I don't know if you can tell. So when you start walking through these houses and you start feeling that little sprain, that little bouncy, that should not be happening. Okay. There's obviously something missing. Maybe the trim under it, two by four, the beam is, I don't know, it could be loose. I couldn't tell you until we pulled this carpet up and look under there. It's pretty nasty. I wouldn't try to shampoo this, clean it up. I say, let's just go ahead and replace this. So, I mean, not, not that big a section. So, all right, part of the main bedroom here, of course, you got a walk-in closet for the most part. You can get in there, okay? So, nice little shelf, a little hard to see. I apologize again. I'm lacking light on my phone, but vinyl looks good from what I can see. That's obviously the vents. You know, they've been, they've been taped off. They don't have central, so, you know, instead of letting cold air come through here, people normally do that to avoid any any of that in here so this is where you would have your water heater and obviously it's gone but um all the plumbing looks like it's there that bottom looks pretty pretty nasty let me zoom in so see you should not be able to see light coming into the house so that's a no-no I and mean, you got a lot of issues can come through that moisture you got bugs you got i mean it's just a lot so before we let me back up here okay so before we do anything trying to bring a water heater in here you know this needs to be addressed it needs to be cleaned we need to have a drain somewhere in there because we're going to have to have that pan under the water heater. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, what will you put on in front of here once you do go to seal it? So, you know, something that you can open or not like you have to get to your water heater every other day. You should not. But keep in mind, you know, it does have to be accessible. As you can see that that door obviously drags on the vinyl. You see that, that door's obviously started sagging. That needs to be addressed. The more you rub that back and forth, you're gonna start tearing that vinyl. So we'll definitely do something with that. The vanity does not look bad. We'll definitely paint that section in the front, clean it up, dress it up. I wouldn't replace that. Not a bad little mirror. Definitely came with the house. I mean, when it was made, you, you don't see many of these no more. I mean, we might replace it, just put a big pretty mirror in there and just re get rid of that box. I, I don't know yet, so. Again, with the toilet, the toilet does not look bad, but I, at minimum, I like to at least replace the, the the lid, so I like to do that. Wall needs to be painted, addressed here. This is very solid though, very nice. The shower needs to be cleaned ASAP. See those sides right there in the siding? I mean, this is water has just been sitting, so that needs to be cleaned up thoroughly. Very, very well done, and then resealed. You know, whether you use silicone or other type of material that you can seal this with, this needs to be clean and brought back up. Obviously, get you a nice little shower head in here. 
not sure if that was a vent or what was going on with that but we were remove that and try to check it out see what's going on this light fixture as you can see that looks I mean that came with the with with the home so as you can see it's got wire all the way down close to where they can plug up okay that, that, that should not be happening okay if this if this you light came with it we, we want to find out why is the light or the wires behind it not supplying power or is it supplying power and just sitting there that's the problem i mean that's how you catch a fire so that would be something we would address pretty quickly okay got you another light fixture right here so okay three bedroom two bath very spacious like i said i like this home here Get rid of this tree, these leaves off of here. Paint this, paint this bottom section. You know, depending on the setup, something like this, I would almost say get rid of this wall and make it that more spacious. But unfortunately, that is where the stove is going. But you could actually put the stove here. But it, you know, something like that, you just have to start accounting. You know, how much money do you want to rehab? Uh, put into a rehab. How much do you want to spend? And you know, based on that, is what you can do. You know, if I was gonna put a lot more money into this home I would definitely say take that wall out you take that wall out put the stove over there on that side of the wall you'd be impressed how much more space you can see in this house it's you know just the way it is you remove a wall spacious so but I mean it's pretty big already as is so all right so let me walk back out here shut the door and give you a little quick view from the front and then we're gonna end the video so So coming back into the front here definitely pressure wash it I mean clean this off this green nasty slimy sea on her I mean that can be easily pressure wash here porch does not look bad fix a couple of those pickets like I said a couple of those boards fix it top does not look bad doesn't look very old here again we have another little section so this you can see right there definitely needs to be addressed ASAP so okay overall beautiful property i think we're we're gonna jump on this pretty quickly and do a do a good job no, new buyers to come definitely be be happy with the project i'm sure all right this is jay with mobile home partners as i mentioned uh you know you can reach me directly at 770-855-1298 you can email me at the letter j g a r c i a at mobilehomepartner.com. I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. And definitely reach out to me if you have any questions, suggestions. I, you know, I like to talk to any, any, any and everybody. So, all right. Until next time, thank you.